Hello friends, all of you are again welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sir Olaf. And I know that already you have started prepare yourself for Tripura TAT exam 2021 for paper 1 and paper 2. So dear friends, today I will give you some shortcut tricks related with the profit and loss. So when we try to understand about profit and loss, we will use some shortcut, uh, that is, we will use some important terms here. First of all, we have to understand this. That is, we will use CP. CP stands for cost price. SP stands for sale price. Profit percentage. P percentage stands for profit percentage and L percentage stands for loss percentage. First of all, we have to understand these terms because we will use these terms in our videos. So, we will start now. First of all, when we know that SP is greater than, SP is greater than CP, it will be profit. SP is greater than CP, it is profit. And to find out profit, we, had, we need to do just SP minus CP, so that we will get profit, whatever the profit amount. Then, when CP is greater than SP, when CP is greater than SP, it will be loss. So, to find out loss, CP minus SP, we will get the loss. By using these two equation, we can easily find out whatever the profit or loss amount. Now, to find out the profit percentage or loss percentage, to find out the profit percentage or loss percentage, P percentage or profit percentage, profit percentage equal whatever profit, whatever the profit we got divided by CP into 100% whatever the profit we got divided by CP into 100%. Similarly, loss percentage, how to find out the loss percentage? Whatever the loss divided by CP into 100%. So remember here, to find out the profit percentage or loss percentage, CP is very important. If we know the CP and if we know the profit, per, uh, whatever the profit amount or loss amount, easily we can find out the profit percentage or loss percentage by using these two equation. Now, we will do what? Now, to find out SP, to find out SP, if we know the profit percentage, and the CP. So, to find out the SP, SP equal CP plus profit percentage of CP. SP equal CP plus profit percentage of CP. Similarly, in case of loss, SP equal CP minus loss percentage of CP. Only we need to remember here in these two cases, in case of profit, it will be plus CP plus profit percentage of CP and in case of loss, CP minus loss percentage of CP, so that we will get the SP. Now, if we know the SP, if we know the SP we know, SP we know, profit percentage or loss percentage also we know. We need to find out CP equal how much. For this we will use, for this we will use another formula that is CP equal, CP equal 100 into SP, 100 into SP divided by 100 plus profit percentage. Similarly, in case of loss, CP equal 100 into SP divided by 100 minus loss percentage. I will show you with one example. Suppose SP is given 
220, rupees 220 and profit percentage. First of all, we have to understand, we have to remember this formula that CP equal 100 into SP divided by 100 plus profit percentage and CP equal 100 into SP divided by 100 minus loss percentage. In case of profit, we will use the plus profit percentage, remember, and in case of loss, minus loss percentage. Only these two differences are there, rest all is similar. So now we will understand how to find out this uh, CP with an example. With one example, we will try to find out, suppose SP is given, SP equal rupees 220, profit percentage is 10%, now find out CP equal how much, CP equal how much. So to find out this CP, we know that CP equal, that is cost price, cost price equal 100 into SP divided by 100 plus profit percentage in case of profit. If it is loss, then here it will be minus loss percentage. Now we will put the value 100 into SP is 220 divided by 100 into profit percentage is 10. 0, 0 cancel. Sorry, sorry. Here plus plus 10 so that it will be 110 110 there is 100 into 220 0 0 cancel 11 2 or 20 so that 200 we will get equal it will be 200 so that CP how much we get CP equal rupees 200 so by using this shortcut method, easily we can find out the CP equal how much. Same we will do in case of loss percentage. Same we will do in case of loss percentage. Here it will be minus loss percentage. Then here we need to do subtraction. After then we will do the calculation. We will get CP equal how much. And I hope this will be helpful for you for this type of competitive exam because we can find out the CP in another way that is the unitary method. We will get the same answer only but here it will take time. But in this shortcut method we can use the calculation very easily. So I hope this will be helpful for you and if you get little benefit from this video my request is please share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sir Alok. Thank you for watching this video.